I had a request, a request from my students asking to show how to make handle like this rather than having chain on this bag, chain like this, okay? This handle, simple felted cord and what I've done, I just twisted around and put through this little loops and we are going to create red handle for this handbag. What do we need to create this handle? I'm going to use the same red wool I used for this handbag, right? And I'm going also to add Margulan silk. Just something extra to give because you can add any silk. So what we're going to do, uh, by the way, your handle when you felt it does not shrink. Cords, from my experience, do not shrink. How fine you want your cord to be. So if you pinch rowing like I did, right, and you just twist, and that's how thin it's going to be. Are you happy with that? Or do you want thicker? Do you want thicker and longer? This is short rowing. It's not a problem because we can join. So if I pinch, I think I'm happy with this. I really don't want to have very thick rowing. So, and um, do I want to have twisted or single? If I go for twisted, I need this is why I need to be careful because you really need to have the same thickness handle everywhere. So let's check. This is like that. This is like that. I think um, uh, that's fine. So what are we going to do? First of all, we need to join together and just do dry felting. Underneath of uh, my rowing is this draw liner you can use um, bubble wrap. So first stage is to do uh, dry felting, simple. My draw liner is all over the place. If that happens, put towel underneath. Let's see if that will solve <laughs> our task. It's not a problem. That's what I was looking for the word. Okay. Where that? Right. Is it going to solve? Oh, still moving. Well, just hold. I don't think I need all that long crowing. Okay, so first task, I'm always do dry felting. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray water and add soap on my draw liner, not on my robin. Okay. What we're going to do next, put inside of your draw liner put inside rowing and do this rolling like that. Oh, everything moving. Okay. You can add a little bit of friction, make sure everything wet. Sorry, what I'm doing friction <laughs> mean I'm just using my hands. So make sure it's all wet. So 
Then I just, it's a very long one. I'm going to keep it. So I'm putting inside, putting my ruin. Oh, because it's still ruin. It's it's not a finished coat. Well, maybe it is coat. And I'm going to do this. Okay, ha, ah, look at that little sausage. Right, it is quite soft and it's okay. What we're going to do, you can continue felting till your um, cord becomes tight and felted or we can add silk. Frankly, my cord is very fine. Let's see what we can do. Fine for silk. It's a challenge. So we're going to cut silk in stripes. Um, how big stripe? It's a very fine cord. We just need to wrap this cord. I'm going to cut this thin end from one side and from another side. See how wide. It's not a problem because margulan silk is very fine. So we're going to roll and then we're going to stitch. Just roll it gently, gently. Literally like dry felting. It would be much simpler task just to make a cord, but we like challenge, do we? The challenge just to dress your coat inside of silk. Tell you what, I'm going to chop this. That's enough. So I'm going to add water on my draw liner and gently roll up 
oops can you see what happened and be very careful because silk tried to escape and that's where we're going to stitch and secure it's escaping So we just go through stitching, okay? Then you will remove stitch. Just stitch all that. I'm just stitching through the cord and silk. Okay, we stitched our coat inside of uh, silk. It's not necessary. And what I will do, I'll show you how to felt coat with silk or without silk, okay? Let's just concentrate on coat with silk. So, First, gently rub, just using your hand. Okay, we just need to secure that wool cord inside of silk. You might have places where silk escaped. It doesn't bother me, really. It's a handle and it just gives different textures, different colors. Unless you have to have everything unified. Depends on your project, okay? So then pay more attention. Um, make sure silk covers completely our coat. Look how quickly it's happening. Right, I can add now more friction. Oh, everything is escaping. Don't do that. So I'm going to put cord inside of my uh, draw liner and I put this cord is dry. It's so it happens so quickly. So I'm going to file two together at the same time. So I'm going to shape my wool cord.
I just put a little bit soap on my hand because I feel it's not enough and I continue shaping. It's still soft, look, if you press it goes flat, right? I'm putting inside, putting both cords inside of my draw liner and I continue shaping. Okay, now I just do a little bit this way. Make sure not in, not much water, L hardly any water here. Okay. We're nearly there. Still need to do more work. Let's do one by one. So keep going, keep rubbing till your cord become quite tough and stiff and you cannot flatten when you press between two fingers, okay? little bit of water, putting on draw liner and we have enough soap. Okay, this is done, okay? This looks good, this looks tight. Now I'll do the same with this cord. Okay, which is dressed in silk. You might need to do a little bit longer rubbing. Okay, then dry. When it dry, you will know did silk attach or not. Because when it's dry, if it's attached, it's not going to peel. If it's not attached, it's going to peel. If you don't want to remove stitches, then use red the same color as your coat and silk. Again, a little bit of water, put as much pressure as you can now and just finish this coat.
Okay, I'm happy with the coat. I will rinse, but and dry, and then assemble my coat with my bag or handle. However, I'll show you before I'll rinse and dry how I assemble usually, okay? Right, so we're going to remove our draw liner, soap, water, get our bag, and simply I'm going to put, can you see how easy to put handle through my bag? Okay. Uh, what I can do with this, look, this is how it looks. Uh, I will remove all um, threads later. So simply, you can just twist, right, your hun uh, coat or handle like that. Okay. Right. Do the same here. can make longer handle or shorter and I probably need to make longer because we have this ends but it's okay we can make stronger on top twisting twice okay like that and then secure with little stitch right and then you have handle like that okay you can make longer, you can add this as well. So just, just play. Because we made it doesn't mean we have to add, but I'm just playing. So we can do something with that, not sure yet what, but without overthinking, I'm just not even thinking look it's all soapy of course I will finish and I'll take photograph but I think I quite like actually combination of two coats it's just interesting Okay, just need to secure here, but look, this is how it looks. I think it's quite interesting actually, I do like. Well, yes, I fix, I wash first, I fix, and it just hand back like this, or you can make long handle across um, the shoulder, okay? That's all, that's all I wanted to share with you. I'm looking forward. To see your handbags following this kiss uh, lock felted clutch bag online pre-recorded class with handles like this or like with this really looking forward to your creations if any questions don't hesitate to ask please i'm here to help thank you so much all the best goodbye